Due to the rising cost of conventional energy sources like electricity, gasoline, and ecological problem of pollution because of improper waste disposal and management led to the adoption of biogas technology. Like Mr. Latoza, a school teacher and environmentalist, adopted this technology and have been using this since its establishment up to this time. As of now, I have already constructed two biogas. It was in 1998, and then lumipat dito, itong bahay na ito, this was in 1997, itong gas, ang biogas ko ito. So I have two units already installed. Since 1998 up to the present, it was already 21 years. Pero so far, itong bagong biogas ko, from 2007 to 2019, so that was already 12 years. The benefits from the adoption of the technology led to Mr. Latosa sharing his thoughts on this matter. I use the biogas, ginagamit ko ito. At first, ang gusto ko talaga, I'm after only with the uh, fertilizer, the biofertilizer, the extract. And then later on, na discovery ko na mas maganda pala din ito para sa uh, pangluto, fuel. So, ito yung ang source ko, ginagamit ko. So, it inspired me, no? Kasi environmentalist din ako, mahilig ako sa mga environ, environment. That is my advocacy also. So when I attended the training on the zero waste management, so na discover ko maganda talaga itong biogas since nagaalaga din ako ng baboy. So that was the encouragement to me to install a biogas. So I look for a person na pwedeng mag-install sa akin. Then later on ako nang gumagawa. So the benefits uh, nagiging free na kami sa kwan sa sa gas, sa pagluluto, aside from that, libre na din yung fertilizer para sa mga pan pananim namin. Kasi yung lugar namin ay barren, no? Hindi natutubo ay yung ma maganda talaga yung mga puno kasi parang patay yung lupa. When I use the extract, the fertilizer, the biofertilizer, we discovered na yung mga puno na dati na nakatanim, na hinulang bunga, nagsimulang mamunga. So that is one that I got from the one. Pero yung nakita ko para sa mga vegetable, not applicable to the vegetable, kasi parang siguro taas yung acidity niya. But in the fruits, definitely 100% maganda talaga siya. So in average, annual, so if we consume, no, kasi kukonti lang kami sa bahay, so three months, isang tanke, more or less apat na tanke yung kwan, so more or less siguro mahigit na Almost 3,000 yung nasi-save namin uh, annual sa, sa gas lang. Okay, aside from that, libre na rin yung fertilizer namin. Seeing the impact of the biogas system in their community made Mr. Latoza to further pursue his advocacy in promoting the technology and wellness of the environment. He was also given assistance by DA. Aside from the nakakatulong ito sa environment, uh, na-encourage din yung mga constituent ko, yung sa community, kasi they appreciated, no? Uh, isa na dyan, wala siyang amoy. Wala siyang amoy sa kapaligiran kasi uh, yung dumi na pumapasok sa digester, including the ammonia, nasisil siya doon sa loob. So, wala siyang amoy. And aside from that, ang benefit din na nakukuha. So, na-encourage din sila na yung mag-alaga ng baboy kasi hindi magre-reklamo yung neighbors nila na uh, mag-alaga kasi dahil sa amoy ng kwan, ng dumi ng baboy. So, the intervention that I received from the DA is the technology itself, no? And aside from that, the PE is uh, cellophane. Sa so, nagbibigay sila ng libre, that is one, the benefit that we receive. And the uh, technologies na may bagong dating na technologies when it comes to biogas, so, nini-inform nila ako. I attended the... the uh, installation of the biogas, yung tinatawag na sa drum type. So, yun na natin ko. Uh, when in fact, we are able to have that one in units in our school. Functional na siya. And one of our neighbors here have also that kind of unit, yung sa blue. That's the benefit that I got also from the DA. Since the establishment of the biogas system, there were minimal problem issues encountered but were outrightly addressed. Moreover, Mr. Latoza sees more advantages. 
uh, for me, no, based on my experience for more than 20 years, wala akong nakitang disadvantage. At first, hes I'm very much hesitant because of the, ano, since I know that it's a fuel, gas ito, sasabog, so takot din ako uh, maglalagay. But the, based on the experience, I think one of the kwan here, the prevention, is not to set fire around the digester. Itong digester na ito, dapat wala siyang nasusunog na bagay. And then, wala namang kwan, wala namang tawag dito yung uh, problema, mag-stack up. Wala, walang nangyayari sa akin yan. Madali. Yung common kasi yung uh, nag-stack up yung papasok ng dumi. Pero madali lang solusyonan. Tubig lang ang kwan doon, katapat. Okay, the problem that I encountered, the first one when I install is the cellophane. Dapat ingat na ingat tayo sa pag-install ng, ng cellophane kasi pag may maliit na butas lang yan, so that will be uh, parang may leak, may kung ano siya, leaking. No? That is one. In the installation of the cellophane, and the other one is the yung elevation ng kwan, yung intake at saka yung outlet ng dumi. So that is the one. The intervention there, uh, if possible, the installer, kung hindi man marunong, meron nagpa-install, dapat nasa tabi siya palagi. Para makikita niya later on, if there will be a problem, madali niya itong makita o masolusyonan kasi may idea na siya, nakita niya. Not necessarily when you ask to install a biogas, uh, let, do not let the, the, the laborer do it be sure, nandoon kayo sa tabi niya para makikita ninyo yung process ng paggawa. In case na may problema, pwede nyo itong uh, masolusyonan ninyo mismo. Yung mga problema sa mga sa, during the installation and after the installation, we cannot avoid. No? Sometimes it really happens. No? Uh, one of the uh, problems that encounter, yung nag-stack up. Hindi lumalabas yung tubig galing sa digester. At saka, then sometimes, pag hindi siya pumasok, ibig sabihin, hindi siya lalabas. So, the way I'm going to solve it, pinapasok ko yung hose na naka-open naka ang booster para lalambot ulit yung dumi, especially pag matagal na siyang hindi nagamit. No? Uh, pag nag na meron kang dalawa o tatlong, ad da isa o dalawang baboy lang, so mahina yung labas ng, ng extract niya, yung dumi niya. So, naninigas yung sa bukana ng palabasan ng kwan, ng dumi. Mr. Latosa emphasizes the need to consider the process before establishing the system. Those who are aspiring to have a unit of a biogas, if possible, uh, you search or maghanap kayo ng mga tao na meron talaga naka-install na ng biogas, then look for the best that suited for your area. Titingnan ninyo kung yung unit na yon na nakita ninyo, okay ba yung sa lugar na na meron kayo, umalit yung lugar, umalaki ba. So, try to look or search a person that has a biogas para makikita ninyo kung gusto niyo mag-install, pwede kayo makakuha ng idea kung anong unit ang bagay sa inyong lugar. His experience serves as an example to those who are interested in this technology. Economically, the system lessens the expenses on conventional gas and can also improve soil fertility by using the technology's byproduct as organic fertilizer. And those who aspire to adapt the technology should always have a positive outlook on its advantages. Those really want to have this unit, uh, do not uh, have that in mind. Nasasabi natin na trial and error, susubukan, but definitely get from me as an experienced one. Wala kaming nakikitang uh, disadvantage when it comes to the biogas. 